I'm sitting here at the Chicago O'Hare Airport, kicking off my trip to the Mall of America and a whole new year of vlogs and traveling to places I've never been. Twenty twenty two for me is gonna be a year of travel, a year of visiting new places, a year of trying new things. Today is going to be the very first one. We're going to get ready to go spend a couple days at the Mall of America, the biggest mall in the U.S., and try to show it off, show you everything that's there. But for now, we're stuck at the airport with a bag of Garrett's popcorn. So one of the things to check out here at the mall is the Sea Life Aquarium. So we've got this amazing water tunnel right near the beginning. Kelp, I need somebody's kelp. Just want somebody kelp. Never mind. Okay, so gift shop with all sorts of ways to spend your money. Spend that money. Those are pretty. We have a three billion dollar annual economic impact on the state of Minnesota. Tons of jobs and businesses are created because of this building. We actually have, uh, pre-COVID, we had between 13 and 15,000 people that would work on property at Mall of America. A little higher during the holiday and summer months, a little lower during spring and fall. Uh, that's between us and all of our tenants. Uh, we have more than 520 stores, 60 places to eat, lots of attractions here. Uh, Nickelodeon Universe theme park has 27 rides and attractions. There's so much to do at Mall of America. A couple of fun things happened on opening day. One was we hadn't hired enough. HR was desperately trying to hire people. Quick interviews. One gentleman by the name of Paul interviewed on August 11th, 1992 to be a housekeeper. His interview lasted less than five minutes. They said, you're hired, go clean the South Food Court. A <laughs> couple of issues. One, he had no equipment, he had no training, he had no uniform, and he didn't know where the South Food Court was. So for two straight weeks, he went to the North Food Court. <laughs> Worked 12 hours a day, seven days a week, unlimited overtime, loved it, was exhausted. Two weeks later, HR called him and said, we're gonna have to let you go, and he was devastated. Why? They said, you're not showing up at your workplace. He said, I've been showing up every day. And they figured out it was the wrong food court. <laughs> 30 years later, Paul is a housekeeping supervisor in the North Food Court. <laughs> the one he can find. 2,000 rights and 60 strobe lights on each of the trees. Of those two trees. We start decorating the night of Halloween. Mm -hmm. We finish right before Thanksgiving. It takes us the whole month. Um, and then before we, uh, before we actually finish, all of the team members, meaning our housekeepers, meaning our management staff, our legal staff, our marketing staff, we take two mornings, we go out on the mall, we all have our assigned areas, and we fluff Christmas trees. <laughs> right? Just gotta make them look pretty. Great fluffing. So we have a fluffing thing followed by cocoa and cookies for everybody. It's a really fun event. Um, I found some weird stuff in some trees. The weirdest is once I found a dirty diaper. Uh, <laughs> yep. This is going back to your train days. <laughs> I also found a love letter to somebody. We worked with local companies to create this, and we wanted it to feel like your iPhone. Mm -hmm. That it's intuitive, that it's easy. So we, you click on it, and you go, I want to go shopping. And you say, I want to look for electronics. And oh, let's go to Apple Store. It calculates the route, tells you which way to go, tells you how long it takes to walk. If it's another level, if you need yeah. an elevator, it tells you the time shows you the map, you can send that all to your phone, so you can follow it, and by the way, you can connect with our social media team at the same time, and they'll talk you through it as well. Mall of America is the unofficial site of the most official and unofficial world records in the world, unofficially speaking. It's true! <laughs> There's like 35 of them, many of them are Guinness World Records, but even beyond that, we do things that are big, and they're, I'd love to show you a there are also some wonderful Easter eggs around. 
like memorials to the old Twins baseball stadium that used to be here and the plaque here on the carousel. You got to look up the story of this plaque. It's amazing. So we just had the most amazing behind the scenes tour with Dan. Um, that was really, really cool. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed a couple of clips. I uh, just had some more food. Had something you don't get to see very often anymore in A and W. Yeah, there's a, a show the right side of the cup. So, uh, and then we've got more rides to do over at the Nickelodeon zone. And um, I think we want to try to hit the other uh, Flyover America, except Flyover Hawaii. Um, so yeah, we still got a little bit more to do. It's mid afternoon. Uh, that was a lot of walking on that tour, but it was amazing. They are going to start offering that tour uh, as a paid thing too. So if you have a chance. Take it, it's really cool. So if you like Legos, you got your Lego workstation here. These are open for everybody. You can see somebody's been active on that one. And then the Mammoth Lego store. And I mean, it's big. They got Transformer up there. <laughs> so this is the escape game up on the third floor. Now this is Minnesota, but they have 22 locations. So they are all over the country. They've got all sorts of different ones. And they even have some specials, but uh, we'll walk you through and then show you a couple other options if you're not able to actually come here. This is our story-based game. Okay. Our only story-based game, where basically you are, you're basically CIA agents. Basically, you guys are in the area of a possible attack threat. And you guys are supposed to figure out where that threat is coming from and how you get you guys to So it's our most immersive game. It has a whole plot line and storyline. It's really fun. Wow. Probably one of my favorites. I was saying, this is a neat looking room. Yeah, oh yeah. Impressive stuff. So Mickey Mars is basically a basically you are on Mars in a spaceship and a solar player is about to hit you in sixty minutes. So your goal is to repair your power, your communications, and your um, power communications and uh, navigation system. And you basically have to fix those and then contact with mission control in order to escape the surface of Mars and get home safe. It's our more technologically based games. Um, it has a lot of touch screens, a lot more like, there's like uh, one of the puzzles actually involves you saying a code out loud. Um, there's all different types of stuff in it. It's really cool. I am very impressed by how this looks. It's really cool. Okay, so online games, mm -hmm. which is, so $10 each on those. Yeah. And then the board game, which only one person can actually escape, that one's 30 yeah. Very cool. So as I recall, somewhere back in the early 90s, I believe it was, it would have been this spot right here, but they would have had a wrestling ring right there. And WC Nit WCW Nitro kicked off the Monday Night Wars for pro wrestling. And somewhere around here, Lex Luger was hiding and came out and made his debut. But kind of a neat little reminisce. And yeah, now they've got a big stage set up here and getting ready for something. So of course, in the M&M store, you've got all of their little dispensers but this is interesting i thought this was like 40 dollars down in florida and it's 25 here stuff's cheaper in minnesota maybe because nobody wants to come up here i don't know <laughs> but this is a big store this is actually two stories they call it three but there's like a half floor down below lots of m&ms Lots of M&M's. Okay, so we've got the design your own M&M. And then this is where you start. And unfortunately, it's closed right now. So you can't put your own picture on the M&M's. <laughs> so what they just told me is that you actually can still make your own custom M&M. So you can do this, but you can't use the camera here. Uh, you have to upload your own photo, and then they can actually print them onto the M&M's and make your own custom M&M that way. So sort of not quite the same so no booth but everything else is the same so you can do it so be sure to check that out kind of a neat idea okay so as you come up the ramp after you get your tickets tickets 
You have two choices, over America or over Hawaii. So we will come up and choose now. No cameras on the ride. So sorry, you ain't gonna get to see it. But I'll let you know what it's like afterwards. So this is really cool when you come out. They've actually got clips and you can see how they filmed and what they did to film the symphony that recorded it. The Thunderbirds. This is actually kind of a neat little wall. So for the nerd in me, this part here after the ride is almost as fascinating as the ride itself. You can see all the locations. You can see the places they filmed, how they filmed it. And you even get a picture of the ride vehicle there. Uh, so this is really kind of a cool deal. And then of course there's souvenirs. You gotta get souvenirs. So Flyover America was absolutely amazing. Uh, very similar to soaring in every good way. Uh, it's over the whole country, not just California, not the world. The cinematography on it was fantastic. It looked great. Uh, some of the similar scenes were interacting with people, uh, but also interacting with other aircraft. Uh, just uh, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. It's longer than soaring. It looks better, especially than soaring over the, around the world. Much better, much improved. Uh, honestly, uh, there's two different ones. There's a soar, there's a fly over America and a fly over Hawaii. If you want to do both, the second one is half price. And I think we may be going back to do the second because it's that good. Soarin' is about a three minute long ride. This is close to 10. So it is that, um, right now it's $20 for the one ride versus the price uh, for your ticket to Disney for the whole day. But, and you can actually do this as an add-on for Nickelodeon, which you may notice the coaster track there. Yeah, we are actually right on the corner of Nickelodeon. So uh, it is part of that, but just, fantastic uh, yeah um, I, I really hope to go back again just to flying over Hawaii and very cool uh, yeah soaring but better <laughs> longer more to it uh, just amazing so yeah if you're here and you want to know what soaring is like this is the place to do it fly over America's got you covered uh, some great stuff and yeah some nice little souvenirs too got my magnet uh, but yeah absolutely worth the money to do this. Buy the two packs, that way you can get both different films that they're doing. It will save you some money that way. Absolutely worth it. This right here is probably worth the stop alone. Uh, it, it really is, it's that cool. Oh, I, that's the 4D, 5D, whatever they want to call it. So we haven't done that one yet. That one I don't have tickets for, but it looks like it would be interesting. Motion simulator. Something to have fun and check out. And you can see Nickelodeon zone here. It's part of the mall. This is night. So you get a little bit of a look at some of the lights. Not a big amusement park, but very cool. Live trees. Not artificial ones. But yeah, just a neat little park here. Let's see, by hit Nordstrom we have Legacy Toys. I see Marvel. Ooh, Marvel. Okay, this is actually really cool. You basically put yourself in a Marvel comic. <laughs> That's pretty neat, actually. There are also two mini golf courses here. This one, which is an adventure style golf right by Nickelodeon. There's also a blacklight mini golf facility, along with a number of other things to do. I love the view right here. Wish it had time. I would have loved to have done this. And then of course, another toy store. This is actually where you can buy your Nickelodeon ride passes. They've got the Nickelodeon universe souvenirs here and a number of other things neat little store but what was also really cool was we were also told about what was coming up that's right they're planning on building an indoor water park here it will be the largest indoor water park in the country it's going to take up this whole area they're working on permits now they're looking at having it hopefully ready in 
two years along with another new hotel. So a good reason to come back and check out the mall. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Mall of America, the stores, the attractions, the rides. Uh, there is so much here to do. Uh, this morning it started off at minus eight degrees here and yet here we are inside in the mall feeling like we're outdoors enjoying all sorts of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this little excursion with me here. Give you an idea of something that you can do in the middle of winter and actually do it and have some fun. This place is an amazing place and with what's coming in the future, man, I, I can't wait. I will be back here again if at all possible. I want to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and my patrons. Their finances help make crazy stuff like this possible. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to know more about that, helping make more things happen, as well as the perks and benefits that come with it, check the description. Also, a huge, huge thank you to Dan from the PR department here at Mall of America. Oh my goodness, Dan is amazing. If you get a chance to come to the Mall of America and you see him, be sure to tell him thank you on my behalf. Uh, he blessed me beyond belief. And I also want to give you a huge thank you for watching, too. Thanks so much. God bless. So I'm at the Minneapolis airport and I found the Holy Land. And actually I am pretty impressed because it's an eatery here, but this is similar to what we would eat in Israel. Uh, falafel, kebab, shawarma, yep, that makes sense. So I'm sitting here at the Chicago airport. Yeah. So, you think somebody was dying up there? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <I> yes. <guess. laughs>